Adding and subtracting radicals is very straightforward with one wrinkle. You have to make sure that the radicals are in simplified form first. So when you have something like root 5 plus root 5, you have, you're simply adding something to itself, so you're doubling it, right? You have two root 5, or two objects. You know, if this is all at all confusing, you can think of root 5 as a, an object or a variable, right? If you had x plus x, you would have 2x. If you have 7 plus 7, you have 2 times 7. So when we have 2 root 3 plus 5 root 3, we've got two of those objects. We're adding five of those objects. Together we have seven of those objects. So we have 7 root 3. Well, what happens when you get something like root 20 plus root 45? Well, <clears throat> we can't just combine the radicals in some sort of special way. You have to think of it as just simply grouping multiples of the same object. Well, root 20 and root 45 don't look like the same object. However, the wrinkle that I mentioned before is that you have to make sure they're in simplified form first. So can we simplify root 20? Yes, we're looking for the largest perfect square factor of 20, which is 4. So we can write root 20 as root 4 times root 5, which then becomes 2 root 5. I'll write that in the next part. Same thing with root 45. We're looking for the largest perfect square factor of 45, which is 9. So we can write that as root 9 times root 5. And you can see right now, these are going to be multiples of root 5. The root 4 root 5 becomes 2 root 5. The root 9 root 5 becomes 3 root 5. And so we have 2 of an object plus 3 of the same object. Therefore, we have 5 of those objects, 5 root 5. So it's really important to simplify the radicals, otherwise you're not going to be able to combine them. You can only really combine like objects. You can't combine two radicals that are completely different. Subtraction is really no different. If we have 5 root 7 minus 3 root 7, the root 7s, the objects, if you like, are the same, so it's fine. We can combine these. We have 5 of them. We take away 3 of them. That leaves us with just 2 of them, 2 root 7. Um, so 3 root 2 minus root 200, okay, the two radicals or radicands are totally different, but we haven't simplified them. Can we simplify root 32? Yes, the largest perfect square factor of 32 is 16. So this can be written as 3 times root 16 times root 2. And the largest perfect square factor of 200 is 100. So this can be written as root 100 times root 2. And you can see that these are now truly multiples of root 2. So root 16 is just 4. We're multiplying that by 3 to get 12 root 2. And root 100 is 10, so we're subtracting 10 root 2. So 12 root 2 minus 10 root 2 is simply 2 root 2. Now, if you're at all confused about this idea of combining like objects, um, you may want to practice some of the algebra lessons and then come back to this and I think it will make a lot more sense then.